Paveen Raman was uh, an extraordinary woman working in a difficult part of Karachi and she was somebody who dedicated her life to helping those less fortunate in society. Ever since she was a child, I mean, she would resist. If there was anything that was wrong, she would stand up. So, you know, as a kid, she'd stamp her foot and she'd stand up for that, you know? She had this, this stubbornness or whatever, you know, and she could not, she could not tolerate any kind of uh, unfairness. She worked for an NGO called the Orangi Pilot Project, and in her work, she came across two big things that were particularly unjust, that is the stealing of water and the theft of land. What happens is, okay, the water is stolen through hydrants, you know, and this is then filled into tankers, and these tankers are then sold into uh, to the to the industries, mainly to industries. Uh, so that results in the water shortages in the poor areas. So the poorer areas then have to buy water, which is rightfully their own. They have to buy the water. Hundreds of millions of dollars were being siphoned out of the public water system every year and going into the pockets of criminals and people higher up in the chain who were in, you know, turning a blind eye to this or overseeing it. In the poorer neighbourhoods, people are only getting water sometimes once every 20 days. And the, the price they're paying for it is, is staggering. In Karachi, people can be spending up to 50% of their wage on water. Through meticulous recording and documentation of how water was being stolen and who was stealing it, they were able to bring out a report quantifying it that this is what is supplied, this goes into the pipes of the citizens, and this is what, is what does not, and this goes into the tanker. This was published, this was then launched in 2009, and this led to a lot of the illegal hydrants being demolished. She documented it in an irrefutable manner, so people could not dispute that there were illegal water hydrants in police stations, there were illegal water hydrants in schools. She was trampling on very, very powerful toes by doing all this. One day after leaving her office, about six o'clock, a motorbike pulled up alongside of her car and fired four bullets into it, and Paveen sadly was killed. 